Yes. This is exciting. New camera stuff. I'm really excited to open this. I know I haven't been recording much. That's fine. But this this is exciting. Yeah. Let's open this up, show you what it is, and I'll explain what I'm doing. Yeah. asked me to do their engagement photos for them and I don't do a lot of people photography but there's a good reason to pick these up because I was meaning to anyways basically they are a reflector they're huge a reflector for light so that uh, there's actually a white one underneath here. So you can focus light on their face, like more natural sunlight or things like that. That'll be cool. I'll get to try that out later today. I'll show you how that works. This thing's never fold up right ever again. Okay, I'll do that later after. This is the more important thing. A new lens. This is a Rokinen 14 millimeter F28 and uh, these go by like a bunch of different names Sam Yang, Bower, there's another one too I can't remember. It's a fully manual lens and because of that it's about a thousand dollars cheaper than the Canon version and I am so excited to have some new glass to shoot with. I love the 30 mil but I'm just getting tired with it and I feel like doing some wide angle stuff. I did have a wide angle lens before, it was a 10 to 20. And uh, it wasn't the best glass, it was a Sigma. But it was just kind of the value line glass. This is beautiful. So they make a lot of cinema lenses, which means they have a um, geared ring on the focus and on the aperture and the aperture doesn't click like this one does and this lens is like 400 bucks brand new which I'll show you the difference why don't I put it on the camera well yeah put it on the camera right now whoa look at that look at that angle it's awesome and it's super crisp. I'm gonna go shoot some photos of this today at some point whenever I uh, get finished all this stuff. Probably see them on my Instagram. Anyways, let's go. I wonder how this camera does for vlogging with. <clears throat> I mean, manual focus, so you gotta set it and it will never leave your face. And super wide so it should be in focus and should be able to see lots of stuff. The image quality is probably great. But the autofocus is probably what people won't like. Try it out. Hey buddy. Cool thing is once I set the distance on the lens to where my face normally is when I hold it like this then it's set for good. I can just put a little mark, a piece of white out or something, and it's set.
So I'm just grabbing some things and then I think I'm gonna go do that photo shoot. The weather turned out super nice. It's not raining. Photo shoot, it's over with. Ooh, I'm gonna get a picture there. I think it went well. Let's see how the photos turned out. I think they went well. Look at this. Get a shot there. Definitely really like this lens. Still need to see how the photos turn out. So that was fun. It's good to uh, get out and actually do some real photography. I've been slacking a lot. And yeah, checking the camera. And yeah, using this new lens is awesome. I'm super excited for it. Something that's really difficult, I think, is not using wide angle lenses, especially when you're posting on like Instagram, which is like a really good platform for wide angle photos. So after spending that long time with the 30 millimeter, moving on to this 14, should be interesting. I'm really excited, super excited. Maybe I'll even do like a review video for this lens. That'd be fun because I wanted to do things like that and uh, I could just do a dedicated one for it and see how it goes. Just do some time lapses and things like that. It's a really awesome solid lens. And look, I mean the camera's heavy. I just decided not to use the S120 today for no reason. Just because I had this one. Anyways, as always, I know I haven't been in the routine of vlogging and I've kind of forgot how, how to do it because it's been so long. We'll see how the editing goes. But, be good and good night.